Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, it's almost New Year's. Uh, I'll get this out before New Year's. Almost New Year's Eve. I'll get this out before New Year's Eve. I want to share something with y'all that I come up with. Y'all do the math. It, I come up with this in 1998. December 31st, 1997. So I'm going to say 1998 because we ate it on in July, July. January 1st, 1998. Let me show you what this comes, tell you what this, how this started. Me and my best friends, we get together every, we still do it native. Circle small, a lot of kids and grew up and moved on or whatever. But New Year's Eve, there's always a party that they have. We do karaoke, pop fireworks, all that. Do everything. Upcoming to the time for everything. To, we usually start the party by 9 o'clock. And then we'll go all karaoke, eating or whatever until New Year's Eve. And then that's pretty much where everything stops. But they wanted me to bring something. That's why I was working, y'all. Last minute, can you bring something to the party, to the book? I say, I'll see what I can come up with when I get home. But we closed New Year's Day at my job. So I, we get off at, I was working morning shift, so I got off at, what, 2, 3, 30, 2 o'clock. I went out working 6 to 2 shift. I said, let me go home and try to come up with something. So I used what I had in my house, in my freezer, y'all. Matter of fact, I was living in an apartment. It wasn't even in a house. I had chicken thighs, as I like. I had some smoked sausage. I had Hillshaw Farm. This is a this is a blue ribbon born uh, uh, Bon Phillips sausage blue ribbon. Had these little bitty shrimp. That's why I used to have to buy the little. See how tiny those are? That's all I could afford, and that's what I keep using. That's what I use in them. Uh, green bell peppers. I couldn't find green bell peppers today, y'all. Where I was at, so I'm using yellow. It makes it more festive, huh? For corn, of course, I always had corn in my house. Potatoes. Y'all know I've been loving Yukon Gold potatoes since day one. And some onions. Then I always keep tomato products in my house. Rotel for heat and some diced tomatoes. That's what I had. I said, I'm going to put all this in a pot, boil it, and uh, take it over there. It was a hit, y'all. From 1998 all the way up to maybe two or three years ago, that's what I would bring. They would request it. The kids would request it. They call it the New Year's Eve soup. That's the name of it. And that's what I'm calling it, New Year's Eve soup. The kids love it. I took some white rice and some cornbread over there with it. And of course, I got some rice right there. I got me some little cornbread left over from my, for my uh, for some chitlins I made the other day. And that's what I'm going to eat with it. Nothing's going to change. We're going to put a little Louisiana hot sauce in there to give it a little kick. Other than that, that's it. So I just want to tell y'all the history of this soup. And I make it in this big old pot. And what I do, I just take the whole pot. And I don't do nothing. I take the whole pot, y'all. Take it over there to the house. That's it. That's how I do it. And come back, the pot is empty. The pot is completely empty. Now, the only thing I do not change it on here that, throughout the years to make it eat better, easy to eat, the corn that I had was the corn niblets, and I cut it in four pieces. You know, a little niblet frozen corn? I would take, I had corn in there, the actual corn niblet. But as, as the years changed, I just put a whole kernel of corn in there, each better with a spoon. So anyway, what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to heat this uh, all up, a pot up, and let me get my chicken here. All the thing I'm going to do, hold on, y'all. I'm going to season this, because y'all know me. Very simple, very simple and easy. We're going to season this chicken with salt and pepper. That's it. We're going to put some salt and pepper on this chicken, season it up. We're going to sear it off. I want to get a good sear on this chicken. Get it nice and seared off. Then we're going to add our potatoes to this. I want the potatoes to cook. We're going to let that simmer. Onions and bell peppers, we're also going to sear off as well. So we're going to cook all four of those items together about maybe 45 minutes or so. You want to get the chicken done, potatoes done, and all that. And then all we're going to do, we're going to add the rest of the ingredients, the sausage, the the, uh, pep, the tomato products, and right at the end, we add the shrimp. That's it, y'all. It was so easy to make this. Every year I've been I'm making it, like I said, it stopped baking a couple of years ago. 
Cause the kids done got so grown, the girls and left, they got their own babies. So a lot of people don't come over. That's like anything. People grow apart as they grow up. So anyway, I'll be right back once it's all heat up and we'll get this going. Old school New Year's Eve soup, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, let's start searing off this chicken here. Like I say, got my, my pot here heating up. We're just gonna put a sear on that. Nice sear. With some chicken thighs. Some of them I cut them in half. They were too big. And some of them I left whole. Like I say, y'all, we're gonna put a little, get a nice little golden brown sear on them. That'll help your soup not being cloudy. Because if you pour everything in there and just start boiling it, y'all, you're gonna have a cloudy soup. It's not gonna be a really nice looking soup. So that's the first step, y'all. This is the hardest part is searing off the chicken. Everything else, you just dumping it in the pot, y'all, and boiling it. That's it. And season it at the end. That's it. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back once I take the last of the chicken out, and then we can add the other products. We'll be right back. Alright, y'all, we are back here. We got an awesome sear on these, so we'll take this off for a second. We're going to put our bell peppers, onions, we'll throw a little garlic in there as well. And get that kind of cooked off. Put our onions in here. Bell peppers. Get that cooked off in there really good, y'all. Throw that garlic in, throw some garlic in here. There we go. I'll put all that garlic. Can't never have too much garlic, right? Never have too much garlic. I'm gonna get all them yum yums off the bottom of that, y'all. Now I'm gonna throw my potatoes in here and get them like a it's gonna be like a sponge. They're gonna soak a lot of that extra chicken, chicken uh, oil off of that. So, hooked up in there. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. So I'm gonna let this kind of cook for about five minutes. We're gonna come back. We're gonna put the chicken back in here. We're gonna fill this up with water. Gonna put a little chicken base in there. And let it simmer about 30 to 45 minutes. And then we'll finish it off with our sausage, corn, shrimp, and tomato products. So old school New Year's soup, y'all. Be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Let's do this, y'all. We're gonna add our water to this. Throw my chicken base. All this some Nord chicken base. Throw that in there. I get that incorporated. Fill this up with water here. Them up to a certain point, y'all. And then we'll add the chicken back in here. Turn the fire all the way up. I mean, I'm gonna add it to a certain point. And it just brings back memories, y'all. Like I say, the kids, they absolutely love this. And it wouldn't be any left. It was like, like 20, 30 people eating off this. Of course, we had other things, too, at the New Year's Eve party. But I love New Year's better than Christmas back in the day. I really did. Okay. All right, y'all. Now, like I said, we're going to add the chicken back to this, and we're going to let this bad boy simmer chicken in here and what I'm doing y'all is want to cook the chicken off and the potatoes I want them to get done got a potato that's trying to sneak up here that's it y'all we're gonna let this here simmer like I said learn about 45 minutes 30 to 45 minutes and then we're gonna add our other items to this it's a good old soup, y'all. I'm, I'm excited because I'm hungry. Anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all. Chicken is ready. Potatoes are ready pretty much. 
Now we should start building this soup up a little bit more, y'all. Chicken's like maybe three. Oh no, it's ready, y'all. That chicken's done. So what we gonna do? We gonna start adding other items to the soup here and get it finished here. So all I'm gonna do, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my tomato products to it. A little rotel in there, gonna give it some heat. And rest these here tomatoes there. Mix that in there, it's gonna give it a little red color as well. I don't know where else I'm gonna put me some little tomato paste in here. Put a little tomato paste in here. Hold on, y'all. Be right back. All right, y'all. We back here. Like I say, y'all, I'm gonna add a little tomato paste to this. Your real body, even though I'm gonna add some little cornstarch at the end, y'all, to give it a little body as well. I wanna get a little bit more red color in this. So we're gonna move that around in there like that. Let this come back to a simmer. Kind of mix that tomato paste up in there like that, y'all. Little by little. And as this thing come up back up to temperature here. Oh yeah. Look at that, y'all. Look at this goodness here. That's what I want. That's what you want right there. Nice red color there. Now, now we're going to add our sausage to this. Use whatever sausage you want, y'all. Use whatever sausage you want. Let that kind of come up the temperature. I'm going to add my corn to this because, of course, the corn is the temperature going to go down on the corn when I put the corn in here. Drop my thing on the floor, y'all. Don't matter. We going with this spoon right here. We have a backup. So I'm gonna let this come up to a simmer. We're gonna add. We're gonna check our seasoning. Then all I gotta do, y'all, last minute, we're gonna add our shrimp. Then you know they don't take but two minutes to cook shrimp when it's the, the temperature is really up. So I need to let my sausage kind of soak in some of this. We're gonna check our seasoning. I'm going to add a little cornstarch to this. And this big old pot of goodness will be ready. Old school New Year's Eve soup, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. Back again. All right, y'all. See this here? Let me turn it down just a little here, y'all. Do we think the shrimp going to fit in there? Look at that, that. Think the shrimp going to fit? Absolutely. I'm going to put the shrimp in there. Say, look, like I've done this one before, right? <laughs> like I've done this one before. Now, all I'm gonna do now, y'all, I'm gonna throw a little when it come out to temperature. But in the meantime, let me go on and put some salt and pepper in here. I know it's gonna need salt and pepper. Definitely gonna need a couple of teaspoons of salt and pepper. I just tasted it off camera, so I know it's gonna need that. Let that shrimp cook in there. Now, as I told y'all, I like to tighten it up just a little with on the slurry, which is cornstarch and water, just to give it a little body. And I've always done this. I did it since day one. You know, get a little body to it. Not a lot. I just don't want it watery, but I don't want it like a stew either. You understand what I'm saying? Look at that, y'all. Look at this. Look at that. A little bit more. That's it. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I'm going to let this simmer just a little, y'all. We're going to come back. Now, like I said, I got my cornbread. I got me some rice, but I'm not going to eat with it at this point. But, look at that, y'all. That's goodness right there. And the shrimp is almost done in there. You got everything you need in there, y'all. Got your potatoes. Got your corn. Got your uh, chicken, sausage. Like I say, in the recipe, you'll see that you can also add uh, 
You can also add crab meat to this. I've done that too with my cousin when last year for Christmas he wanted a pot of this. And I sent and I, I put a little crab meat in there. So anyway, we'll be right back. I'm gonna put a bowl of this up. And we gotta give it a taste, y'all. Old school New Year's Eve soup. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Look at this here, y'all. This is a plate of goodness right here. Look at that. Look at that. You got your sausage in there, your potatoes, tomatoes, bell peppers, chicken. And you need pretty much a spoon and a fork to eat with this one. <laughs> pretty much. But I, something else I didn't share with y'all. The reason I come up with this also, it was cold. Happened to be cold at New Year's Eve night. This is very rare here in Texas. We get cold. It was like in the, the 430s. And we needed something while we was popping fireworks as well to eat outside. And this definitely warms you, warms your body and soul up. So anyway, I know the chicken is perfectly cooked. A little piece of chicken there. Soaked in all that goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Sausage, potato. Like I said, you need a spoon. Mm. And a fork for this. What's that commercial? Medium enough to eat with a fork, but soupy enough to eat with a spoon, whatever. Y'all remember that commercial? I mess up all these old school commercials on them. All right, y'all. Trying to get a good bite here for y'all. Okay. Get on there. Put that shrimp on there, a little juice. There we go. That's a good bite there. It's hot too. <laughs> I ain't got no corn on there. That don't make no big deal. Look at that. Got everything on this spoon. Come on. Mm. Wow. Mmm. That's good. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, y'all. I'm telling you. Let me get you some crackers. Got some cornbread, which I'm gonna eat later. A little rice with it. And that's all you're gonna need. Come on, y'all. That's dirty flour lady calling. I'm telling who that is calling. <laughs> but anyway, one more little bite here. I love the skin of the chicken. I think it's the best. I'm in my element, y'all. I know I need to close the video out where I can eat my supper. It's my supper tonight. I love the skin of the chicken, y'all. Who doesn't like that? Mm, mm, mm. The potatoes right there. Mm. Y'all, excuse me. Excuse my manners. But them Yukon Gold potatoes soaking all that juice. Mm. Let me close the video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Be part of my other social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, TikTok, OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023, just show some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed new year. Love y'all. Bye.